our top five games to play with your small dog to boost their recall. Recall is life. I was just out the other day with my dogs and I, I suppose I take it for granted sometimes that they just hang out. I can let them off lead, they hang out, I don't have to think twice about where I am. I really love this. And yet I was somewhere where I was watching someone else really struggling with their dogs and I felt terrible for them. I felt really terrible. Like maybe I should put my dogs back away because we, we were in a small um, fence paddock area um, or maybe I should change the situation to help them. And actually the big thing was they had absolutely zero recall. Now, mm -hmm. this is something we do day in, day out. Customers all over the world come to work with us with recall. Yeah. And here is what we do. We want to give you just five of our top games, games that have come from our training academy, games that have come from our games-based, concept-based learning that you can take away and walk away with right now to boost your recall or you might even want to share it worldwide. So the first game that we play, we call it the name game, you might have heard it referred to as the orientation game too, is all you're going to do is start by throwing one, yeah, a good one, one piece of food that way, yeah, a good one, one piece of food, I know you missed it, that way, one piece of food that way, and then you can start to add in a little recall world, so brrr, hi, brrr, where'd it go, where'd it go, brrr. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? <laughs> Clever. Yeah. Um, and all we're doing is we're priming that kind of reflex whiplash turn. We're getting our recall word in, or in that case, it was a weird noise, um, just before they turn back so that actually it starts to become default, right? And this is the key, is that repetition is the mother of skill when it comes to this. You more, the more your dog repeats, 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 hey, recall, recall, hey, recall, actually do a recall, hey, recall, actually do a recall, the more they're going to do that. Now, the next game that we might have a little play with is middle. So all we're gonna do is bring our dog around, feed in position, throw a piece of food out, bring our dog around, feed in position, bring our dog around, feed in position, and bring our dog around, feed and in position. With that game, you're looking to get proximity to you without making it a come yeah. to me recall, where almost your dog is in conflict. They're out there, you're over here. What's the bridge? Well, the bridge is middle. Mm -hmm. So middle allows you a bridge. If for any reason your mobility doesn't allow you to do a middle, just ask them to come in at your side, a circle and around to the side. Yeah. We're games-based dog trainers. There's always a game for that. So whether it's this one or whether it's that one, we absolutely know that this is game changer land for recall. Now, the next game that we might have a little play of might be a little bit of fun that. So we throw a piece of food out. Hey, brrr, choop. Throw a piece of food out. Brrr, choop. <laughs> throw, hi, <"Hey>, Sam. <laughs> brrr, 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 choop. Yeah, that good one. Hey. <laughs> ah, clever girly. And so what we're doing is we're saying if you come in, you get to go out again. If you come in, you get to go out again. So it's a great proximity game, great game that teaches your dog that coming back is a really great deal, not a bad deal. And it's another way that we add in a and layer of variety. Basically, all good things come through you. Yeah. And the cool thing about that is that your dog starts to see you as part of the picture. I remember working with a client not that long ago, uh, both Tom and I, and they were basically saying, I go to the park, I drop my dog off. Yeah. I feel like they're there for a party an hour later. Later, I try and get them back and then I chase them for a while and eventually I do get them back. Yeah. I just don't feel part of the picture. This game puts you in the picture. Yeah. Now, next game that we might play is another proximity game. You're raring to go. And all we're going to do is bring our dog around, feed here. We're going to drop a piece of food. We're going to bring our dog around, feed here. We're going to bring our dog around and feed here. And what you create is almost like a little bit of a leg weaves where your dog starts to see value in being close and value in staying close because it's also we've added variety. It's also a fantastic gym exercise watching there, Tom. Tom is almost doing like a moving squat. So you know what, whether um, whether you're working with a small dog, a big dog, uh, finding a way to do it, ultimately you're saying this place is cool, this yeah. place is fun. There's a lot of games that happen in this sort of close proximity to me. Would you like to have fun games? Yeah. Like that's really what you're asking your dog. And the final game is less about a game for your dog and actually about a game for you. And that is that really the secret is to do lots of successful repetitions. So in short, sharp bursts throughout the day, 
playing your, you're doing your recall noise or your recall word, giving your dog an amazing experience, playing the proximity games. The more you put value into recall, the more you are going to see real life results. If you're in an environment where you think my dog might not recall, then that probably means do it on lead so that you're getting that rehearsal in that environment as well. So that was this episode of YouTube for you. The cool thing is we'd like you to share it because yeah. we know that this is probably one of the top problems yeah. all over yes, yes, the world. Yes. Whether it's getting your dog back in from the garden or whether it's your dog out and about being able to have an amazing time. A dog who has recall, a dog who has proximity is a dog who does have a really cool life. And the thing is, you're gonna have so much more freedom when this is something that you get under your grasp, under your power, and you really take a handle on, on it. And so for us, we'd love you to share it. We'd love you to pass it to a friend, a mother, a sister, a brother, a long lost lover. Share it, share it, share it. Next week, we've got even more super cool game for you. Stay tuned, oh, stay with excited. it. It's Game Changer Land. Remember, game changers, whatever the dog owning struggle, there's a game for that. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to our channel. And check out our new 25 day online dog training challenge. Watch the videos, play the games, transform your dog owning struggles. As a loyal YouTube subscriber, you can get a 70% discount through the link in the description below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the number one most transformational dog training podcast on iTunes and Spotify, the Sexier Than a Squirrel podcast. And remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more live teaching, video content and free training using the links in the description.